Contender Regime Boxing checking back in with y'all, man. What's happening? Mikey Garcia victorious over Jesse Vargas via unanimous decision, just as I predicted. Very, very exciting, action-packed fight. Very good fight from round one to round 12, man. Uh, Mikey Garcia got a knockdown in the fifth round. Um, you know, this is just, it goes back to what I was saying, man. A lot of people underestimated Mikey Garcia's skills, man. A lot of people wrote him off just because of his performance versus Earl Spence. I mean, if you think that he was just going to go up to 147 and fight the best fighter in a division and beat him, you crazy. And if you thought he was going to look good, you crazy. You know what I'm saying? I just think that was wild for people to write off Mikey Garcia, get that man some time to get acclimated to the division, you know, and get in there with what he should have did was start out. I commend him for, for, you know, putting his nuts on the line and going to fight the best. But, you know, what he should have did was start out, you know what I'm saying? Fight some, work his way up instead of going straight at the top dog like that. But this goes to show that Mikey Garcia has the skills to pay the bills. And I'm, I, I told y'all also, everybody talking about, well, you know, well, why Earl didn't, uh, you know, Earl didn't stop Mikey. Earl didn't fight Mikey aggressively. I told, that's not smart. You see what happened with Jesse Vargas. You can't go out there and, and get your shit off get all your shit off in the first three or four or five rounds with Mikey Garcia, he going to make you look bad. You see, by rounds four, by round four, my, uh, Jesse Vargas was tired of shit. You know what I'm saying? By round five, six, his nose was busted. You know what I mean? Mikey Garcia, he don't waste no punches. He's a very calculated fighter. He's a master of distance. He has a very solid jab, and his one-two game is crazy. He is one of the best in the business when it comes to mastering the distance. So if you come in trying to get all your shit off, all you're going to do is make yourself tired because you ain't hitting shit. I'm looking at Chris Mannix's scorecards in the first four rounds. He had Jesse Vargas up 3-1. Man, that dude Mannix don't know shit about boxing, bro. They need to take his ass off the network. Take his ass off TV. He don't know a motherfucking thing about boxing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Jesse Vargas, great fight, but Mikey Garcia was dominating the whole fight, bro. You know what I'm saying? I had Mikey Garcia up four rounds to one to start the first five rounds. You dig what I'm saying? But it was, every round was competitive, but you can see who was landing the, the more effective and the more crisp shots. You dig what I'm saying? And that's what I keep telling people, bro. You can't fight Mikey Garcia just because you bigger than him, you can't think that, oh, I'm just about to go in there and just overpower him. No, you can't do that. Earl Spence had the perfect game plan versus Mikey. He used his length and his range and fought him on the outside. And then slowly but surely, he broke Mikey down and he wore him down over the course of the fight. That's how you got to fight Mikey. You can't just go in there and try to get your shit out because you, out, you might get knocked out. You might get knocked out. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that against Mikey Garcia, bro. He's too calculated. That's what he wants you to do. He wants you to try to come get your shit out so he can step back and one-two your ass all night. And then once he start, once he see that you're getting a little bit tired, once he see you start opening up a little bit because you done got your shit out already, then he start, you know, varying his punch combination. He start hitting you with all type of shit. Boom. You know what I'm saying? I saw him lead with the right uppercut. You know what I'm saying? He, he laid in with the right up. Boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. You know what I mean? Like, bro, people underestimate Mikey Garcia. I think he can compete with other top guys in the division. I like Mikey Garcia chances versus Keith Thurman. I like Mikey Garcia chances versus Manny Pacquiao. I like Mikey Garcia chances versus or your Dennis Ugas. You dig what I'm saying? He probably won't be able to beat a uh, Terrence Crawford or Earl Spence. I don't think he can beat a Sean Porter just because his style is so rugged and he's too big and strong for Mikey Garcia. You dig what I'm saying? I don't think he'll be able to keep up with Sean Porter because, you know, Sean Porter is just too big and strong. You know what I mean? But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Great fight, man. I'm, I'm excited to see what y'all thought. Contender regime boxing. I holler at y'all boys, man.